Hello and welcome to the room at the end of the hall. Here, we are making daily progress towards a deeper and more intimate understanding of the nature of the universe, as seen here. Today's quarterly update is brought to you by Squarespace. And hey, hey you, come here. We work on this project, right? We need a status update now for the good people back at home. Um, uh, look, we hired you as a scientist. We pay you to do science, so we need you to do science. Well, I, I was, um, what about this big question mark right here? How about filling that in next? All right, thanks, go. So as you can see, everyone, uh, things are going well. And uh, check back in three to six months. And uh, be happy to update you then. Now, take a look at the, the work process. OK, is this thing recording? I, I just had the weirdest interaction. I was walking down the hallway, and the Someone called me into this room. I had never, I didn't even know it was a room before. I thought it was a janitor's closet. But this guy in there with like a suit on uh, was in there talking to a camera and he called me in there. I couldn't even get a word in edgewise. He just, to be honest, he was kind of a jerk. He just went off on me. Uh, and he had, he had all these, um, these drawings and pieces of cardboard with random words scribbled on them. Uh, just kind of strewn haphazardly up on the wall, arranged in a way I couldn't really understand, but I was only in there for a moment. And the, of course, there were all these pieces of, of, of red yarn connecting everything. Uh, anyways, he, he just kind of, went, he acted like he was my boss or something, but I've never even seen him here before. And I'm here every day. So uh, I, I was very preoccupied at the moment. Uh, so I was just, I think, <laughs> I mean, this just happened minutes ago. I was just kind of stuttering and stumbling mentally because I was in the middle of working on this hammer project I'm doing where I have this these two hammers. One is, uh, one is a red one, one is a yellow one. And they're both pretty much identical despite being from different brands. And they both have 16 ounce forged steel heads claw hammers they are and um you can do cool things like them like hold one in each hand swing them around and even do this cool thing where you can like tap them against each other like hammer the hammer like hammer each other anyways it's pretty cool i've been working on this project uh, all day now and so uh, i think like this guy told me to work on this what you see me doing now this drawing for his project and I don't think I actually have to do it, but I, I like this job enough that I am going to do this on the off chance that this guy is actually my superior. It's not bad. I mean, it was a little weird at first, but now that I've kind of gotten into the drawing, I've kind of, you know, I've caught, caught my stride and I'm, I'm feeling, feeling the groove now. This is a legal pad of paper and uh, just using some some uh, like a rollerball pen and it's going well now if you want to work on a project of your own you might want to get your own website up and running you can do this easily with squarespace Sc just go on there scroll through see all the beautiful templates they have click one of those and then start customizing it they all look good it's hard to make it look bad uh, i mean on my own website which i use Squarespace for us. I've dragged stuff everywhere. But if you do run into a problem, they have a very extensive FAQ and help system. If you can't get your questions answered with FAQs, you can get in touch with them and they help you very quickly. I've been very pleased with them. They'll, there's actual humans that will reach out and get your problem solved. So go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And then when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Peter Draws for 10% off your first website or domain. Um, but all right, I have actually now gotten in touch with the guy who was working on the project in that room. And he says, also that guy, he kind of, 
Anyone else think he looked a little bit like me? Anyone else see him? Anyways, apparently this is a project he's working on where it's like a bunch of drawings, um, like this one, which he, for some reason, had me do instead of him. But I... I saw the other drawings, so I kind of understand the the gist of it, the the essence of it, what these drawings are supposed to look like and accomplish. But it's a bunch of drawings, and then the idea is that maybe he'll have a show or a, a gallery show where these are all connected, and uh, there will be maybe paintings, but drawings connected. I don't. But maybe the idea is that there they will be individual pieces of art connected via or in kind of in a way that is another bigger piece of art the bigger piece of art being like the big web of yarn and um some some of the other items were like pictures i took with my disposable camera and then wrote things on them like a lot of the drawings i have or he has <clears throat> and there are uh like diagram type things but then also on the at the bigger scale each of the drawings could be one item in a larger diagram that takes up the whole room if that makes any sense so that's just kind of the idea that's being thrown around right there if it makes any sense and uh i think i will be able to have a show at the place where i'm doing an internship if i uh well basically it just comes down to me getting my get me getting it all together right and just being mentally collected enough just to make a submission, right? Sometimes that's all it takes. So also in my sculpture stuff, everything's going pretty well. I'm trying, basically the, the main thing there is that I'm just like learning the methods, how to do it, you know, make a mold, make a cast. And then once I have all the methods in my head, then I'll be able to know, what I can accomplish as far as the art I really want to make because like a lot of the stuff we've been making so far in classes is just like hey take this object uh and then turn it make it into metal but that's like the very baseline of what can be accomplished with the metal casting and it's a metal casting class so it kind of makes sense but um like I would like to make you know like intricate metal sculptures like the like the metal version of you know, my drawings, kind of. Obviously, um, I don't want to get too stuck in a rut and, uh, you know, just make, you know, because I guess the metal version of my drawings already kind of exist maybe in something like <laughs> like steel wool or something. That's inter actually interesting. I, I'm a big fan of steel wool, but I mean, I think my drawings are a little bit more intentional and interesting than steel wool, but now it'd be kind of cool to make a a large scale sculpture version of steel wool. Maybe I just need a bunch of iron or wire. Or what if I could figure out how to bend rebar and make a, a large steel wool? Anyways, no, that, no, that's not enough. That's too, still too, just kind of a blob. I still want to make be more intentional with the lines I'm making. You know, the like I don't know. I'm sure almost none of that made sense, but I'm telling you, I'm making progress. It's feeling good. I'm having a good time. And I hope you are too. Let me know how your days, months, years, lives, eons, and uh, are, all of that are going. So Halloween's coming up soon. So I'm sure you're all putting, um, you know, those 11 and a half foot skeletons in your front yards. I'm happy for you. All right. Goodbye. Take it easy. Sweet dreams.